Week four of the NFL is here and a great opportunity for the Atlanta Falcons to get the season back on track with a Monday night matchup against the Green Bay Packers. What's up, everyone? I'm Mackenzie Ingram with Sudu Badea, and we are your Chatty Birds. Sudu, Monday night football, big stage, and also some big drip for the Falcons as they break out their new all-white uniforms. Yeah, Mackenzie, it only makes sense to show up to the frozen tundra looking a little icy, right? I love these uniforms. I think they're some of the best away uniforms uh, in the NFL. There's something about that giant ATL on that white. Uh, it's got the perfect amount of red and black splashed on there. It's not crazy. Honestly, I don't think you can go wrong with these uniforms. Now, Sudu, taking a look at this matchup, it's obviously going to be a tough one for the Falcons, but we've seen plenty of positives, especially on offense this year, to think that they can hang in there with the Packers. Plus, Atlanta's got some stats to maybe give the fans a little more hope for tomorrow's game. Yeah, I mean, as far as stats or like fun facts go, Matt Ryan has won five straight games on Monday Night Football. I know that doesn't necessarily mean too much, but it's still something to be like, hey, you know what? He shows up on the big stage. Another one to give the fans a little more hope is the fact that the Falcons have won the last three out of five against the Packers. And this one is usually a good matchup. And it always helps when the coaching staffs are familiar with one another and you have that between these two teams. Packers head coach Matt LaFleur was Matt Ryan's quarterback coach here in Atlanta a few seasons ago. Of course, Falcons secondary coach Joe Witt Jr. coached in Green Bay. So he's very familiar with Aaron Rodgers. Uh, defensive coordinator Raheem Morris for the Falcons coached alongside LeFleur when they were in Washington. So knowing the tendencies of your competition obviously makes for a better matchup. And then as far as hanging with Green Bay, I totally agree with you. Look, yes, the Falcons have struggled to maintain lead. They've looked flat late in games. But when the offense is humming, I believe they can score on anyone in the NFL. Matt Ryan currently ranks third in the NFL with 961 passing yards. He's got seven touchdowns to go along with that and just two interceptions. And then you look at the Packers defense first three games. They're also allowing close to eight and a half yards per passing attempt. And they've given up seven passing touchdowns in that three game span. So if Matt Ryan has a healthy group of pass catchers, there is no reason to believe the Packers, or rather the Falcons, can't hang with the Packers and win this one in a shootout. I genuinely believe that. Some people may think I'm crazy, but I think based on the numbers, it's fair to say. Well, all eyes will be on the Falcons as they take on the Green Bay Packers on Monday Night Football. The only question is, will they show up on the big stage? With Sudu Badea, I'm Mackenzie Ingram reporting for the Dirty Bird Report.